Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we have one welcome sneak peek and what a surprise this one was. Greetings agents, this is CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight, bolstered by the addition of the new powerful heroes, the Midnight Suns is prepared to combat the forces of damnation. One hero in particular is willing to risk everything in order to stop the forces of hell. Soon the burning world below will have a new king, and looky, 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 and you all know what this means. You all know what this means. Let's watch this. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this, chains fall down, and there you see it, tier 3. Look again, look again, whenever his eyes show up, you'll see that tier 3 in there, T3, and boom, there it is, hail to the yeah! That is freaking awesome. You see quite a few likes, which is awesome. A few dislikes, which is kind of surprising because a lot of people were hoping for Ghost Rider to get a little something, and he needs it. This guy needs it. He needs those extra stats. Whoops. He needs those extra stats because right now at Tier 2, and this is the cool thing. And you can see my tinsel's ready to go. He has a tremendous amount of power, but his survivability is really the issue. However... My concern still with Ghost Rider is this third skill is the PvP skill. If I ever saw one, penetration, ignore targeting, the extra damage. I mean, it's an amazing skill. And right now, currently, it can take out some bosses, especially against super villains. However, it a, has a 15 second cooldown. So I think, you know, even with the tier three stats, uh, universal types do get some good stats. I don't know if he's going to be a top meta in PvP. He's definitely going to be a whole lot stronger at Tier 3. Uh, he's going to have a hell of a lot of damage. He's only going to cost at 800 CCF. So that's actually really, really nice. And Ghost Rider, he's just going to be way better than what he currently is, for sure. As to whether or not is he going to be worth Tier 3, uh, that'll depend. But, I mean, honestly, I mean, right now he can hit the 800,000 in squad battle at Tier 2. When he's Tier 3, he's going to mutilate that crap. He's going to destroy it. But is it worth tier three in the character for that? I don't know about all that. But he's going to do a whole lot better in world boss. He's going to do a lot better maybe for one shots. Uh, yeah, it's really exciting news. Uh, this is really what he needs, to be perfectly honest, to have any chance of shining, especially shining in other game modes like PvP. Right now, currently, he can do really well in world boss. He's got a lot of damage, but his survivability is crap. Having them tier three stats is going to increase his survivability something fierce. However, I think some of his core problems are still going to be a worry. You know, when you're facing high levels of world boss, you're still going to need heals. You're still going to need extra survivability, but he's going to have extra stats. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. We will see, but I am excited. But for today's video, because I already had this kind of planned, is we're going to try some one shots with Moon Knight. Since I was showing you all those one shot teams, I didn't show Moon Knight. And actually, we're going to use him for the same team that I would use for Sharon Rogers, which means we're going to have Nick Fury and Deadpool on the team for our one shots. And this guy can actually do some pretty crazy one shots. Actually, some of these will be my first time trying. So this is actually going to be really interesting. And the beautiful thing about my build of Moon Knight, I mean, yeah, he's got 29,000 air physical attack. He's transcended. He's got 124 attack speed, the 47 crit rate, max critical damage. Maxing your defense, max skill cooldown, the leadership tag, which we're not going to be utilizing today. He has five star physical attack Urus, no other Urus. Uh, all skills are six. He has a fully awakened overdrive set. And he is rocking a CTP of energy. So we're not going to be using a CTP of rage. And he has a mythic uniform. So we're just going to jump right into World Boss and we're going to see what he can do. But man, I'm excited for uh, Ghost Rider. That's freaking awesome. So we're going to go against Proxima. We're actually going to try a stage 70. Okay, no cut time, so that's good. Let me see if I got a team here that I can use. Okay, so we're switch out these characters here. And we'll put old boy in there. We'll throw our speed in there. Put uh, Nick Fury. There we go. And Deadpool. And like I said in the last video, when you're doing the one shots, you're going to have your all defense down here on your team. And then you got to have it in your strikers. And we got Dr. Strange. We have no cut time. So let's see how we do. Let's see if we can do this. Now, I did try this a couple times earlier and had some really good luck. 
So we'll see. We'll see. Stage 70 is pretty damn high, especially for a one shot. So we're going to get that buff from Nick Fury first. And really the most important thing is just trying to get close to Proxima. So we're going to get that buff, switch to Moon Knight. And there we go. Three, five, and then the Awakened Skill. And oh, damn. We didn't quite get it. We didn't quite get it. But we got down to the middle of the second bar, which is awesome. We'll try that one more time. Earlier, I did land it. So we'll try it again. Hopefully my game doesn't crash whenever I do these one shots. It tends to crash quite often, actually. All right, here we go. Okay, switch. Here we go. Three, five, awaken skill. Nope, nope, nope. So we're not having much luck getting the one shot, but he definitely can do it. I'm not going to try this over and over and over. This is the thing about doing things off the cuff. You just never know what's going to happen, but he definitely can do it for sure. I mean, we go down to stage 60, eh, 65. We'll probably get this here. The thing that sucks about this is Holiday Deadpool can plow through this on her own. That's really the bad thing about this setup. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's go. And boom, there you go. Easy peasy, no problem. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now let's try one against Cole. And Cole is actually insane because he has a very high amount of physical defense and Moon Knight is a physical de physical damage dealing character. So we're just going to try stage 60, right? Same little team that we just did. Uh, we're going to have to throw in all these characters. And do, 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 do. Whoops, I hate that. Okay. Speed. I really should have had all these preset. There we go. Well, crap. I hate that search. All right. Uh, we need. There we go. There we go. And we need to switch out, old boy, for Doctor Strange. There he is. Put a damage out to super villains here. There we go. Let's do it. Let's see if we can do stage 60. This is going to be real interesting if we can do this. This would be cool. All right, here we go. And boom, stage 61 shotted. <laughs> That's awesome. Hell yeah. And this is with no Odin's blessings, no craziness on them, nothing like that. I do Corvus, but she, Corvus has two different phases. Ebony, it won't work. We'll try against old Thanos here. We'll just try stage 50 Thanos. We're not going to go crazy here. Okay, we got Dark Strange, Weapon Hex. All right, here we go. Now, I don't know if he's going to do this. Thanos is a pretty funny one, man. Everything's got to be timed perfectly. And I really don't know if Moon Knight can do this. I've actually, this is my first time trying this. So I have no idea. We'll see. Ooh. I do believe it's possible. I do believe it's possible. We'll try it another time here. All right, run over here.
Oh, nope, not getting it, man. I think it's possible. I think it could be done. I mean, he took it down ninth bar. Anytime you see that kind of damage that fast, it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible they could do it. So, Moon Knight can definitely be on the one shot team. I don't know about Thanos, uh, but Thanos, honestly, he's one of them bosses that the one shots, I mean, unless it's Iron Man, they really don't usually work the first time. You got to do it over and over. I mean, Beta Ray, he's pretty reliable, but Thanos is a very unique boss when it comes to the one shot methods. So let's try Apocalypse real quick, just for fun. Uh, we'll try Apocalypse stage 70. And they'll both be combat, so there's no advantage or disadvantage. And this is a boss you definitely want to one-shot, for sure. There we go, perfect. All right, come on, buddy. And no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think stage 70 might be too much with my build. Drop it down to stage 60 and see how he does. Hopefully we can get the one shot this time. Apocalypse is a tough bastard. Honestly, if you can one-shot stage 60, that's pretty damn awesome. Here we go. Well, pretty much a one-shot. It was a little, a little slow at the end there, but we did get it. Not bad. And I just came in here off the cuff and tried this so not too shabby at all so very happy with moon knight's one shot potential and super super happy that ghost riders getting a tier three i don't know if i'm going to tier three him i think I'm, because i'm trying to conserve on resources i think unless you all want to see ghost rider tier three let me know in the comments but i'm kind of wanting to conserve on resources maybe watch some other videos see how good he is at tier three what is his potential uh, before investing in him and I think that's what you all should do too unless you really love Ghost Rider I would probably just wait and watch the reviews of the character So let me know how you're all feeling about Moon Knight with his one-shot potential and Ghost Rider getting his tier 3 and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching Y'all take care and have a good one